I want to thank you for everything you've been doing. And, and for reminding you of what you know. That's it. That's all we do. Because we I didn't come with an instruction book on my ass when I was born. I yes, you did. It. Yes, you did. It's right where it is. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, I want to kind of carry this on in, in much the same direction, but a little bit different. And the framework of where I'm going to go with this information is kind of being ripped away from that high-flying state, uh, from a place of being in love from the unexpected and coping with the crash and burn, so to speak. And um, Well, you've got to get off the subject. <clears throat> Because that subject will just make you fall out of another airplane every day for a while. It has been. So you just got to get off the subject because, because, and get on the subject of the laws. On this, you just got to go as general as you can go. You got to get off the subject. You got to say, I just had the most powerful step one moment of my lifetime. And as a result, I put more momentum into my vortex than I ever wanted to do all at once. But nevertheless, there it is. And now I'm just going to let it spin and gather and spin and gather and do it step one and step two thing. And meanwhile, I'm out of that for a while because I can't approach that subject without choosing a lower disc. And the disc matters more than the subject. Agreed. Ooh. <laughs> the disc matters more than the subject. Now, for a while, the momentum of that is just going to keep sucking you back in, but you've just got to sort of keep shaking it off. Oh, no, I'm not going there. That subject puts me there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Where are you going? To take a nap. I'm not going there. Where are you going? Swimming. I'd be doing I'm not going enough. there. Where are you going? I'm going to meditate. Where are you going? I'm going to go eat something really good. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm not going there. I'm not going. I'm, that's not the disc I'm going to choose. And that's the only disc that I can choose right now on that subject. So I'm staying off of it. I'm staying off that subject because I want to stay off that disc. You hearing us? I'm going to stay off that subject because I'm going to stay off that disc. And there are other things that eventually will help me to find that disc. And when I find it, you see, eventually you'll find that disc. And from that disc, you'll find what you want relative to that too. But you don't want to find... Now we're going to tell you something really, really good. Okay. You found that relationship. Oh, we don't mean to point so strongly, but we're feeling it so much. <laughs> I'm so you found, you feel what you, I wasn't able to say. You found that relationship from a disc that doesn't represent you. Why? It was every... I found... Because... The relationship showed up. I... And, and, Everything I, I, shows up. That's what we want but, you to understand. Wait, 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 wait. Every, wait, wait, wait. Everything happens that way. Stuff shows up. Stuff jumps on your disc, whatever disc you're on. Just hear us out. Take this conceptually. It will really help you. That relationship jumped onto a disc that you didn't know you were spinning on. And the reason that that relationship it didn't unfold in the way you want it to is because that's not your home disc. That's not the disc that you and because you've been putting a lot of stuff in the vortex that sounded like it was off the relationship topic. I left it alone. Wait, wait, wait. Off the relationship topic. I, 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 I love to love. I like to uplift. I like to be uplifted. Yeah. There are all kinds of things not on the relationship topic. I really like fairness. I really like focus. I really like sensitivity. I really like high vibration. I really like, in other words, you've been putting all kinds of things in your vortex yes. and you have established a disc here. That relationship wasn't it. That why? relationship was on a different disc. But why did it show up seemingly as if because, it was it? Because what shows up always seems like it's the right thing. You, know, you can feel the inspiration to punch somebody in the nose. But you're on the wrong disc when that inspiration comes. Correct. You see what we're getting at? And, and it makes it, this is, this is a topic that we've been wanting to discuss for a long time because it really feels like the inspiration comes and it feels so right. And we're saying it's right for the disc that you're momentarily on, but you may not be on the disc where you really belong when you're momentarily on it, you see. And there are a whole lot of people that are on discs of insecurity there are a whole lot of people that are on discs of neediness or or wantingness you see
One of the attributes, though, was that I wanted to find somebody that embodied law of attraction modalities, the positivity and the stuff. And I wanted, you know, to create that support on an intimate level, whether it be for partnership or friendship. And this person kind of put themselves out there as if they were that. And it was extremely attractive. And, you know, it was part of the we reason like why the first, were... We like the first part of your statement. Can you make it again? I wanted someone who would. Say that again. Embody the principles of law, law of attraction. Of attraction. The principles of law of attraction and law of attraction is about choosing the disc. And so That's... what you wanted is what you got. I want to know what disc I'm on. I want to know what disc I'm on. So everything that comes represents that disc. But it, it was it was such a rapid elevation to such a high that there was all this motivation to 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 ride the wave into shore on that surfboard. But do you see and that this conversation, the conversation that you're offering here? This we're just going to give you a, a really short version of what you're actually saying to the universe with a conversation like this. You're, you're you're saying it, it it could be two or three different things and we're going to speak them all and then we'll tell you the thing that it is most emphatic but what you're saying to the universe is i'm not good at discerning the path of least resistance the the laws of the universe are understood by me to some extent but i haven't practiced them enough to really feel um, expert at applying them and so this has all been part of the process of that we would like to say to you that this experience has caused you to focus into your vortex a desire relative to a relationship in a much more powerful way than you've ever done before which will make it not ever possible again for you to not feel the vibrational disparity in other words you've been sensitized to a whole new frequency so that could not ever happen to you again and therefore the relationship was meaningful on all levels because it helped in the clarification of what you want it helped in the clarification of what you don't want but most of all it helped in your now ability to discern the vibrational frequency between one disc and another and sometimes it's a, it, we're really fine tuning here, but that's who you are. And that was what you were born to be. So if you can just accept what we're saying to you, stay off the subject for a while because your desire won't dissipate your desire. That's the nice thing about this vortex and all this non-physical energy that helps to sustain it. Once you establish a desire, the momentum of that never peters out. It always maintains its highest frequency and its higher momentum in readiness for your resonance with it and a lot of times people find resonance without deliberately finding it and that's sort of what's confusing you you sort of stumbled into some of it but because you weren't able to maintain it and because yeah. it really didn't represent what you're really looking for you, you said once that two people could come together to establish a vibrational frequency that was so much bigger than either of them by themselves that they would blow themselves yeah. out and i wondered if that was part of it yeah because there's so much gonna, love that sits get, here you're gonna meet them up gonna meet them up there and the love that the love isn't hasn't is it dissipating but you're gonna meet them up here one day we'll tell you this story and then we'll bring this to a, a closing a woman said to us i want my son to find a mate and i want him to find her now and we said we don't and she said it was before we were talking about vortex it was before we were talking about grids it was before we were explaining it with the clarity that you've heard it here today we said we don't and she she was appalled why will you not help me help my son get this thing he wants so much and we said because if she comes today she'll be just like him she'll be unemployed too <laughs> completely disorganized in her experience they'll come together it will feel good for a little bit because they'll be validating each other's dysfunction and then they will sort of self-destruct and she said that's what's been happening and we said we want him to find the frequency that is who he is before he finds that that he's looking for that means so much 
So we just want to say, you can't have lived as you've lived and asked as you've asked without putting all of these wonderful things in the vortex. And it's vivid and it's real. And it's not just possible and it's not just probable. It's certain. You just got to get off the subject for a little while and pick anything that you can that gets you flying high. And uh, the relationship that meets who you really are will come to you with such swiftness. And when it does, the sweetness of it will be so magnificent, you will know. And in retrospect, you will say, now I get it. We want you to get it vibrationally out ahead of that manifestation. Understood. Yeah. Really good. Have fun with it. Good time for a segment of refreshment.